When you want to use a database in your application, first you need to create the database and give it a name. You'll use the create database command for this. The name you give it here is the same name you'll use to connect to the database from your code. The opposite of create in SQL is drop. I'm not sure why. Maybe database programmers used to be really clumsy. Anyway, the way to remove a database is drop database, and the way to remove a table is drop table. All of these commands have options that you can look up in the documentation if you ever need them. When you drop a database or a table, there's no confirmation, no did you really mean to do that warning, so don't do it if you don't really mean it.